If you live in the state of Florida and have an EBT card, we have great news. There are children museums that offer free admissions with your EBT card or amazing discounts that you cannot pass up. So let's get right into it. So I want to explain what this program is about. It's called the Museum for All program, and it has 1,200 locations across the country that allows you to use your EBT card anywhere in the country at one of these locations for free or at amazing discounts. And then I'm going to give you the list of children museums in Florida that are part of this program that you can currently use your EBT card and bring up to four children or four people in your family to this experience. And then finally, there is a zoos and aquarium in Florida that also participate in this program that I want to bring you up to date on. So Florida card holders can embark on an adventure without breaking the bank. And this is part of the free admissions with EBT card in Florida. You can experience all that children museums have to offer, including interactive exhibits, hands-on learning exploration at discounted rate exclusively for EBT card holders. The Museum for All program offers free admissions ranging from, you know, sometimes you, you can take all your family members for free or at a discounted rate of a maximum of $3 in most places. And here is the thing. For each EBT card you have, you can bring up to four people. Discover all the family-friendly amenities that children museums have to offer courtesy of your EBT card. And I know a lot of you do not know that these benefits exist and that these are perks and discounts that you can get with your EBT card. And I want to walk you through that. So in this video, I'll give you the complete list of all the locations that are offering discounted and free children's museum admission in the state of Florida for 2024. So you may be asking, what is the Museum for All program? Well, if you currently have an EBT card, you are eligible for free or discounted admission to over 1,200 museums nationwide through the Museum for All program. The Museum for All program removes the financial barrier for low-income families and encourages individuals of all backgrounds to visit museums regularly and build lifelong museum habits. The program includes a variety of museums, including art museums, history museums, natural history and anthropology museums, general museums, children, science centers, planetarium, nature centers, historical houses and sites, zoos, aquariums, botanical gardens, and more. So how does this work and who is eligible? Well, although the program is targeted at food stamps and EBT card holders, many of these locations allow EBT cards from other programs, including WIC, which is the Women, Infant, and Children program, EBT card from TANF, which is the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families program, EBT cards for cash assistance, and even the PEBT card, which is the Pandemic EBT card program. So participating locations have reduced admissions, including free for most places or $3 for visitors with eligible SNAP EBT card. Now, this discounted rate is available during normal operating hours, up to four individuals per EBT card. So if you like what you hear so far, please click the like button so that this video will be shared with more people who need to hear about this. And if you are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. We really appreciate your support in helping us grow our channel. So what are the lists of children's museum in Florida that are eligible for this Museum for All program where you can get discounted admission or free admission for up to four people per EBT card? Well, in this groundbreaking initiative, children's museum in Florida are opening their doors to the wonders of nature for EBT card holders in 2024. Get ready to experience the magic of nature like never before with discounted and free children's museum admission with the Florida EBT. Currently, there are 10, as many as 10 children museums in Florida that offer discounted or free admissions with your EBT program. I was really, really impressed with the list of museums that are part of this program. And we want to give you the complete list in the next slide. So the first one is in Jensen Beach, Florida. It is the Children's Museum of the Treasure Coast. So here are the rules. It's $3 per person, and it's valid for up to four tickets per EBT card holder per visit. And it's not valid during holidays 
or special events. Now you must show a valid SNAP EBT card and a current photo ID at the entrance. Additionally, the SNAP EBT card holder must be one of the, target, the ticketed guests. So basically, whoever has the EBT card has to be present when you purchase the EBT uh, discount and when you participate in the museum. The next one is the Discovery Center in Ocala, Florida. Here it is a free admission. It's valid for up to four tickets per EBT card holder per visit and it's not valid for add-ons such as the Star Lab. You must show a valid SNAP EBT card and a current photo ID at the entrance and additionally the SNAP EBT card holder must be one of the ticketed guests. Next, we go to the David L. Mason Children's Art Museum in Dundin, Florida, and it's valid for up to four tickets per EBT card holder. Admission is free, but you must show a valid SNAP EBT card and a current photo ID at the entrance. And, of course, like the other ones that we've seen, you have to be present as the SNAP EBT card holder to be able to take advantage of this offer. The next museum is the Florida Children's Museum in Lakeland, Florida. The admission is $3 per person and is valid for up to four tickets per visit and does not include WIC and PEBT. So this one is very clear. You can only use your SNAP EBT and perhaps your TAMF EBT. You must show a valid SNAP EBT card and a current photo ID at the entrance, and the SNAP card holder must also be present uh, during the visit. The next one is the Glazer Children's Museum in Tampa, Florida, and it is $3 per person, and is valid for up to four tickets per EBT and WIC card holder. So here they have included the Women, Infants, and Children EBT card. So you must show a valid SNAP EBT or WIC card and a current photo ID at the entrance. Additionally, the, of course, just like the other ones we've seen, the SNAP EBT card holder must be present and the name must match the ID card. So you, basically what they're trying to do is make sure that this discount is dedicated and reserved for SNAP and WIC card holders. So they don't want people cheating the system and giving the EBT card to other people. So the name that is on the EBT card must match the name uh, on the photo ID that you show when you buy the ticket. Next, we go to Naples, Florida, to the Golisano Children's Museum of Naples. Admission is $2 per person. It's valid for up to four tickets per EBT and WIC card holder per visit. And you must show a valid EBT and WIC card and a current photo ID at the entrance and the SNAP EBT card holder or the WIC EBT card holder must be one of the ticketed guests. Next we go to St. Petersburg, Florida where we go to the Great Explorations Children Museum. Admission is $3 per person and is valid for up to four tickets per EBT and WIC card holder and you must show a valid EBT and WIC card and a current photo ID at the entrance. And of course, just like we've seen before, the SNAP EBT card holder must also be one of the ticketed guests. Next, we go to Pensacola, Florida to the Pensacola Children's Museum. And here, admission is free. So it's valid for up to four tickets per EBT card holder per person. Um, and must, you must show a valid SNAP EBT card and a current photo ID and the SNAP EBT card holder must be one of the ticketed guests and must be present. The next museum is the Boynton Beach, Florida Schoolhouse Children's Museum and Learning Center. It's $2 per person for admission, valid for up to four tickets per EBT card holder, and you must show a valid SNAP EBT card and a current photo ID and the SNAP EBT card holder must also be present and must be one of the ticketed guests to be able to take advantage of this deal. 
Now, there are other discounts that are available to you as part of your EBT card. It's not just Children's Museum. As I said, there are 1,200 museums across the country, many of them in Florida. And so we highlighted the Children's Museum, but there are also zoos and aquariums that are part of this program. So I wanted to bring you that. So there's the West Palm Beach, Florida. There is the Cost Science Center and Aquarium. That is part of this program that you can also visit. It's $3 per person and is valid for up to four tickets per EBT card holder per visit and excludes special events and planetarium shows. You must show a valid SNAP EBT card and a current photo ID to take advantage of this discount. And the EBT card holder must be present at the time of the ticket purchase. Then there is the Santa Fe College Teaching Zoo in Gainesville, Florida. Here the admission is $3 per person. It is valid for up to four tickets per EBC card holder for any combination of adults and children. And you must show a valid SNAP EBC card and a current photo ID at the gate entrance. This discount is eligible for year-round use at the Santa Fe College Teaching Zoo. So have you taken advantage of any of these programs? Were you aware that this you know, Museum for All program existed at all? Have you, have you taken advantage of any of these 1,200 museums across the country? We want to hear from you whether this has been something that you've, 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 you've done before, what your experience has been, and, and whether you were able to successfully bring people in your family to take advantage of this EBT discount. So that is all we have for you today. If you like what you heard, please hit the like button so that this video will be shown to more people because that is how the algorithm works. If, if you like what you hear, there's no way the algorithm would know until more people like and share it. And then if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and we appreciate your support. So until we see you in the next video, thank you for watching.